Hello my friends, in our last sections that we made this form part, title and descriptions, but we didn't make this drop zone part. So in here, we can just uh, upload the images. So not just one images, we can upload the multiple images. So if I click this one, and then if I click one more, maybe this one. So we can have two, and we can just one more image in here in addition to unloading the videos we can also delete the image by clicking so if we click this image that one is deleted from this list so i'm going to just uh, do it like that and then click again to delete it so this is the one we are going to make so we are going to make the one component only for this one and then we will bring that component inside of this file so this is what we are going to do today. So to make this one, first we need to create a file, unload the file inside a UT folder. Uh, and then we need to download this uh, drop drone dependency so by typing npm install react drop drone. Uh, we will make a template for this file unload component, which is just this part, like this template. And then we will make a undrop functions. So when we click this one, and if we just choose any of the image in like this so we need to trigger this undraft function so that's why we need to make and lastly we also need to make undelete function so if we click any of the image in here then we can delete it so that's why we need to make this undelete function so first we go back to our text editor in here so first i will turn on our application npm run dev so now we are inside our applications. So first we need to make the file named the file upload inside a UT folder. Uh, we don't have a UT, UT folder yet. So we need to make the util folder. The reason why we need to make the UT folder is so we are going to just uh, use this file upload component uh, in so many pages, not just in the upload page. So sometimes we can just uh, use that one inside uh, any other page. So that's why we put this component inside the YouTube page instead of this specific upload product page. So inside the YouTube page, I will make the file named file upload and JS. Uh, as we did before, I type I output CE for the functional component. I'm just going to import this component uh, from the this upload product page. So in here, first import it from here. Import file upload from util file upload. So by doing like this, we go back to our applications here. So now we can see file upload this one because we type it like this, file upload. So next thing we need to do is the install drop zone dependencies by typing npm install react drop zone. So come back in here, turn on terminal. So first we need to actually turn off the server. After downloading this dependency, if we want to use it, we actually need to turn on the server again. So first we need to turn off the server. And then first we need to go to the CD client directory because it's for the React dependency. So in here npm install React drop drone save. So now we downloaded our dependency for drop tune. So we go back to our, our root directory and then npm run dev to turn on our, our application again. So now what we need to do is to make the template for file upload components. So we come to this file upload component and make the template.
So now we are going to save it and come back to our application. So now we have like this. So now also we need to make this part. So now we made all the templates, so now it's time to make the undrop functions. So undrop function will be triggered when we click any of the image in here, but we don't have the undrop function yet, so that's why nothing happened in here. So in here, undrop and const undrop uh, const. So we are going to get the files. So when we click this one, this file we get in here so when we send the files uh, into the backend servers so we need to use the form data so form data we make the instance for the form data and const the config so i'm going to let you know why we need this one content i more t part form data form data open file files uh, the reason why we need this config is when we do the http request to the our backend like axios and then post we will uh, write the path for that api it will, be, it will be product and upload image so when we just uh, send this request, we actually need to put this config inside in here. So we are not going to have any error when sending this one. We also need to put this form data. So what we are doing here is uh, when we click any of the just the image in here, so we need to save the image we chose inside the uh, node server so the image this one i clicked it has to be inside this node server it needs to be saved inside node server so to do this we need to do this http request after that we will do response if response and data and success and else uh, alert the fail to save the image in server so if, if you don't know what we are doing right now just uh, i hope you bear that feeling because we are going to do this kind of process so many times in this project so you will know what we are doing even though you don't know right now so please bear with the feeling so we need to make this api even inside the node server so but we don't have right now this product controller so inside it route folder we need to make the product.js and in here so we are going to bring all of the code from users to products so in here i'm just going to delete all of the unnecessary part so it's for the product we also need to add one more line inside the index.js in here not just the user this will be the product because we are using api product so it also needs to be the product and this route slash uh, products first when we just send this request api product so it comes to this index.js so it will find this line and uh, this line will route this request into the routes.product file so routes and product file so it will find this last pass which is the upload image so we need to put that upload image in here 
and that was the post request so we need to change that one as a post so we need to delete this part because we are not going to use it so in here what we need to do is uh, if we send the image if we send the image in here so we will get that image inside in here after getting that image from client so we need to save it inside node server to do like this we need to download the mortar library so to do that uh, we need to do npm install mortar and save so now we download it so so we need to import that one mortar require Murder. And to use this murder, I'm just going to bring some code from the other text editor because I want to make it faster. So I will use this murder so many times in our last project, in our last last project. Uh, I hope you already know how to use this murder. But for those who never use this murder, I'm just going to explain it really briefly. So this destination part will be where we want to save our image file or video file or anything so we can just say just upload that means so we can just make the upload further in here so all of the file we want to save will be just come inside this folder and this file name will be how we will name the file so for example for the date now like like this this one is for the date and then this one and the file name will be like hello and then png like this so this one will be the file name and then file filter is if you see in here uh if the file extension is not jpg and the png you cannot save it so if you want to put just the mp4 in here you can just do like this extend mp mp4 so you can also upload the mp4 file in here but i only want to upload the images in here so i need to exclude this mp4 so i save it and in here i put this option inside in here and then i bring this upload and put it in here and i need to call the callback function request and response and error and if we get error return response and json success force error and if it was successful response json success true and image hence request and file and pass and the file name will be response and request and file and file name so what we are doing right now is if we were successfully saved the video uh, save the image inside this upload folder uh, we want to give this information into the front end so we need to send this file name information and this image pass information into the front end so we go back to our file upload in here so after being successful like success true so here success true we will send this information so we will get that information in here but first we need to have a state to put that information so use a state the name will be images so initial state will be the arrow because the we are not going to just save one image we are going to save more than one image so that's why we need to use this array as an initial state so set image in here response and data and name was the image so image but actually we need to save more than one image so if we just like this we can only save only one image so we need to change this one into like this one so we first get our previous image put in here and then we can get the, our new image in here so after doing this there is one more thing we need to do uh, that is we need to update this uh, image information 
into our parent component because if we come up uh, inside in here we need to just uh, manage our uh, image information so getting all of the image information and then when we need to click is submit we will send all of the information together into the backend so that's why we need to manage this image information inside this parent component so lastly we need to just uh, update this image information into the parent component to do that uh, we need to keep the props for the file upload there will be a refresh function so there will be update image so we make this one called update image and new image and like this and then set image in here and new image this one needs to be this array again and come back to file upload so we need to use the props and then the one the, the one was the refresh function so here refresh function and we can just put the same thing in here and we need to put these props in here so now we are going to really save the image uh, npm run that and uh, we are going to click any other image uh, maybe this one and we go back to our text editor okay there is some error the path of undefined okay i think the cause is maybe i didn't write this one a multiple would be just forced because we want to just upload the one file at once and the max size will be just uh, really big like this then i'm going to save the bit save the image again like this and if we go to the upload further we will see yeah we have this image right now so upload it successfully so um, i want to do console log in here this update image so to see that the information about the image we just uh, uploaded to come to the our parent component really well or not so i need to print out this new image in the console so i need to just uh, upload this one and you see this so we can have this uh, files passed by where it is saved so we got it really well so now what we need to do is to make this undelete function but we already spent too much time so that's why i think i need to pause this video so see you in our next video thank you